All right, we're going to do another lab. 1.1.7 from the CERT Master Learn Network Plus. So we're going to do creating topologies. And this is going to give us opportunity to work within their new network modeler. It's a little bit different than those uh, Packet Tracer or EVNG or some of the other labs that even test out had. Um, so we're going to take a, a look at it. So for the, you, this may be the first time you're seeing it. And it's not too bad. Uh, just going to be a little bit of adjustment getting used to it. Um, so let's take a peek. All right, so this is the layout here. Of course, you know, on the left-hand side, we have the directions. Here we have the different um, items. And like you those familiar with Packet Tracer, uh, you'd be able to select the item and then be able to drag it to your to the open spot and be able to connect that network device. Um, so for this lab, we're going to kind of follow along with what they're wanting. So they're wanting a star topology with all of the PCs or the nodes. So we left click here, wants us to drag all these up here and then make it to a star topology. So everyone should know what a star topology looks like. It looks like a star. So what do we need for that? Because these are not going to be connected together because that would be a ring. So we're going to need to use a switch. And we're going to use this marketing switch here. Now, so we just drag it up there. Now, of course, this is going to be your routers. We don't, we have a router here, and this is going to be for our creating our links between them. And of course, you got notes and some network mapping. So we're going to create some links between these. So everything for the start topology needs to be plugged into the switch. So we're going to click on that. We're going to click here, click on the Ethernet. So we just left click and then click Ethernet. And then we're going to put this into, since this is two, we're going to put it into port two just to kind of make it match. It doesn't really matter. Directions don't give us any uh, a lot of options there for that. Um, so we're just going to follow here. We're going to do the same thing. Put this into one. Go to marketing four, ethernet. Plug it into port four on the switch. Marketing five, ethernet. Port five on the switch. And three into port three on the switch. All right. So now that would suffice for the lab because that's what it calls for. But I want to dig a little deeper and let's look at this. I'm going to click I'm going to actually hang on first. We have to exit out of the, the uh, connections, then click on the devices. Right click, go to launch Windows. All right, cool. So we have Windows. It says that we have a connection, but we have no internet access. So, but we don't really have an IP. Um, but we can try to, we can test it, and we can always static one to just, you know, set one and then see if we can ping across through the switch. Uh, which we might end up doing if this doesn't give us an address. So I'm just going to do an IP config. All right, it's telling me that I got a, a 169. So that's all right. Let's let's just stick with the 169. So it's giving us an auto an automatic IP address, right, from a PIPA because it doesn't have a DHCP server. So uh, 169 254 All right. So let's go back over to the network model and go to another PC and see if we can ping this. So we'll go back to the network modeler. We're going to right click on four and we'll say launch Windows. All right, so now we're going to open up PowerShell and let's see if we can ping it. So we're going to type in ping 169.254.201.10 and it can ping it. So the PCs themselves can reach each other through the APIPA addresses. Um, but we're not getting, we don't have DHCP or internet access. So there's no, there's no DHCP server and or firewall or router to allow those, to allow us to get online. So let's go ahead and click that score lab. See what we got. We've done what they've asked for. It should be good to go. There we go. 100% on that one. So that was creating network topologies using the new CompTIA CertMaster Network Modeler. Sip, sip.